Number 11, getting a really, really excellent book. One of these books where as soon as you get it, you start reading it, it's like, oh my God, this is an awesome book, and you speed read all the way, and then before you know it, there's two chapters left, and then you go, wait a minute. And then you slow down the reading ever so slowly because you don't want this adventure to end. I love reading a book where you don't want it to end. That makes me very happy. What's your favorite book? Drop me a line, let me know, and maybe I'll add it to my reading collection. Number 11, zip lining. I love zip lining. You're in nature, you're zipping through the clouds. I was in Puerto Rico, did some zip lining there, and it was such fun. If you haven't done it, go zip lining. Number 13 is improv. There's a group in New York, I forget the name of this group, but I'll look it up and maybe put it in the show notes. They want to create magical experiences for people, and this is one of the experiences they created. They had a subway train coming into Manhattan, and many stops out, the doors open, and this guy walks into the train car, and he's got this beautiful shirt, expensive tie, beautiful jacket, shiny shoes, but no pants, and everyone in the streetcar is going, the guy who got no pants! And the guy sits down, and they go to the next stop, the doors open, and this woman comes in, beautiful blouse, jacket, shoes, no pants! Everyone's freaking out. There's two people with no pants. And then a third one comes to the next stop, and the fourth one in the fourth stop, and just before they get to Manhattan, one stop before, the doors open, and this guy comes in and says, pants, pants, get your pants! And each one of the people buys a pair of pants, and they put them on, and on Manhattan, when the doors open, they leave. And the idea of the group is this. They want to create magical moments for people that they can go to the office and say, oh my God, you wouldn't believe what happened on the train today. Tell their family, so they spread joy and happiness. That makes me happy. Number 14, a great glass of wine. So I was in uh, Greece and we went to this area called Pelio, which is up, up in the mountains. They got ski lodges there, it was summertime. But we went to this courtyard with a wine critic and my friend Izzy and her family. And we got there at nine o'clock in the evening and we had a dinner with 10 courses, uh, six bottles of wine, uh, some of them like multiple bottles, depending on uh, which wine it was. And uh, the owner at about one-ish in the morning came out. There was this amazing, charming woman with a big fat cigar, like she was a banker, comes out smoking. Then she comes and serenades us by singing. And then she starts bringing out more bottles of wine. We started dinner at nine and we finished three in the morning. It's the most joyous thing. And one of the best things in the entire courtyard where we had dinner was this tree. It was a 1200 year old tree. It's seen a lot of wine drinking in his time. And uh, so, a good glass of wine can make you very happy. Number 15, family can make you happy, right? Just looking around the table with this, this joyous connection. One of the things I noticed in Greece was, uh, like they know how to eat. Like I thought I knew how to eat, but apparently I did not. They gather around the table and the first course is a Greek salad. And uh, as they're eating it, they're eating out of one bowl. And it's like a 20 minute event, 30 minute event to eat a salad. And there's talking and laughter and joy and love. Family, family makes me smile. Family makes me happy. Sometimes you want to kill them, but most of the time they make you really happy, right?